Today, these dads meme business. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Bam. Well, I've been cooped up for so long that I have officially finished the internet. Yes, I made it to the end of the internet. And it turns out there's some really dank memes out there that I'm sure were even danker when they were actually popular. Oh, you getting in on the dank memes? Yeah. Yeah, we've had to find a lot of ways to occupy ourselves and I too have dabbled in uh, some of the dank memes, usually over my kids' shoulders. I, I can't say that I'm too familiar with them because I am still dadding very hard here from my home. You're a dank dad. I'm a dank dad. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that brings us to the operable question for today. I don't know if the question is operable. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but we're going to test our memeing skills and see who's got the best meme game. It's time for Dad Meme Review. Okay, here's how this is going to work. Stevie, who is on the line with us. Stevie, are you there? Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm here. Hello, Stevie. Okay, she has the power to show us things on our computer, right? I mean, technology these days. Whoa, it's so dank. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> we've reached our dank quota. Yeah, okay, no more dank. Yeah. Uh, she's going to show us these memes. She's going to give us some examples of these memes because we probably haven't seen them because we're dads. And then we're going to make our own version of those memes. And then she's going to tell us which one's better. That's right. Points are going to escalate each round. In the end, the loser will have to endure an embarrassing meme posted about them all across the internet. Mm. Okay, Stevie, school us on this first meme. This first meme blank, that's what I'm calling them when they don't have text, is called Confession Bear. Mm -hmm. And it was made popular by F-18 Bro in 2012, which if you're doing the math, that was eight years ago. Thank you. <laughs> but it's seen plenty of resurgence throughout the years. The Confession Bear is used to reveal secrets that are usually self-deprecating and embarrassing. Okay. And I have yeah. a few examples. This first one, I wear the same jeans every day. That's not much of a yeah. confession. That's just... That's true of me. That's normal, right? I'm not even wearing jeans today. I don't even have pants on. <laughs> so Yeah, I mean... I'm yeah, not. I guess this is not quarantine friendly because nobody's wearing the same jeans every day. Right. People ain't wearing no jeans. Um, this next one... I ran over the neighbor's cat and later helped them put up missing posters. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I can't respond to this one. That's horrible. I don't condone violence against cats. I don't like cats. I do not condone violence against cats. Just needed to be said. And then this last one, I absolutely love the smell of my own balls. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Which, I mean, oh. is quarantine friendly. I think. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. That's good. I, I don't know if we can do better than and that. And it's really similar to the one <laughs> that I wrote, which was, I absolutely love the smell of my own Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina candle. <laughs> oh, you got one of those. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Rhett, it's time for us to break open our markers. <laughs> Write down your yeah, answer. You, you guys have to write your own your own dad memes here. A little confession, huh? I've got a few, actually, believe it or not. Okay. Don't forget to put your lid back on your marker, Rhett, because if you're like me, you only have one in the house. Okay. Um, I said, I have a beard because my chin scares children. <laughs> <laughs> has that ever happened? Have my chin scared children? Yeah, it has it. I assume so. Didn't it scare your own children when you shaved it off for buddy system? Oh yeah, they were very upset. <laughs> okay, um, mine is, I vape my own burps. What? You've never done this? I get really <laughs> nervous. Yeah, that's, that was a cliffhanger, right? You've never, <laughs> have you ever, I frequently burp into my own mouth. It's kind of like, and then before you breathe out, you oh. just breathe in. And that yeah. way people don't smell your burp. Okay, Stevie. Okay. Get award, award points. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is an easier round for me because I'm going to have to give this one to Rhett. Um, <laughs> I don't condone using the word vape, you know, or the word burp. Well, you know what? Next time I burp, I'm not going to vape it around <laughs> you, and you're going to wish I did vape it. <laughs> uh. Let's just okay. go to the next round. All right, Stevie, show us the next one. 
Okay, this is the this is how I win meme, which uses a now famous line from the movie Uncut Gems to convey the nefarious huh. means one might use to get what they want, oftentimes centered on trivial things for comedic effect. Oh, love that. I have seen this movie. I, I have, have seen the movie. I, I, I recommend it. I recommend it. Okay, let me take you through some examples. This is the first one. Me when I pirate the movie Cats instead of having to pay for it in theaters. This is how how I I win. win. Okay. The next one. Getting out of jury duty by changing my identity to a nine-year-old's. No, that is how you get arrested. (laughs) Yeah. That is not how you win. Okay. And this one. Using gift cards from last year to buy Christmas gifts for this year. I feel like that's just good practice. Think of the economy. Um, Oh, geez. Okay, so you have to write your own. And before you even think about doing it, I will not accept if you want to just use a photo of me. And then this is how I win because everybody knows that I'm how you win. Oh, I get it. Because you're the judge. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I get it. (sighs) Okay. It's a long one. Link, you want to go first this time? Um, Mine was texting running five minutes behind when I'm actually running 30 minutes behind. <laughs> this is how I win. Okay. I gotta say, I, I do that I've been there. pretty often. Okay. Okay, uh, I said, putting on a nature doc so my dog thinks I took her outside. No. Oh. <laughs> it works. I feel like Barbara's like a good indoor dog scenario though. I feel like she wouldn't mind a good nature doc. Hold on now. She loves them. And I also have experienced Link's meme in real life uh, from Link. (laughs) But see, the irony is these are not how you win. You don't pirate cats and you don't, you know, it's like, this is actually how you lose, but think that you're winning. See, that's right. I don't know. I think I gotta give this one to Link. It's 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 highly relatable. That's what I'm saying. It gets that relatable laugh. Whatever. That means I'm, I'm taking the lead because the points are escalating. Just a quick reminder, tomorrow on the Mythical Kitchen channel, the Mythical Kitcheneers, Josh, Nicole, and Trevor are posting more quarantine videos to equip you to cookify, and they're doing some recipes using only flour. So check it out tomorrow at the Mythical Kitchen channel. Okay, this next meme has like quite a description. So here's the blank and it's called me explaining to my mom, which juxtaposes a photo of YouTuber Quinlan Blackwell with a photo of Miss Juicy from the reality TV series. Say it with me. Little Little Women Women Atlanta. Atlanta. I know all about Miss Juicy. I know about Miss (laughs) Juicy. Do you? And I have have seen this meme. I may be a dad, but I've seen this dang meme. Oh, Miss Juicy likes to stay warm under that cowboy blanket. (laughs) So Quinlan posted a video of herself crying in 2018, and a year later, Miss Juicy posted an Instagram photo of herself watching TV. Then, in March 2019, Twitter user at SX Turn Sailor posted these two pictures side by side, and just like that, the meme was born, and it's used to convey the idea of one person trying to explain something important to another person who just doesn't get it. So here are some mm-hmm. examples. Me explaining to my mom the Tati, James Charles, Jeffree Star drama, and my mom. <laughs> Yeah, been there. Me too. I remember trying to talk to my mom about that. Yeah, she looked at me like I was crazy. Uh, me explaining my love for my dog and how I would die for him and my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog's like, let's not get too deep here. And me trying to explain the multidimensional nature of reality and how you can shift between them and my family, which I no. happens to ret a lot. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, I, I'm all over this one. I'm trying to explain something. Sorry, there's a lot here. Okay. Okay, all right, I'm done. Link, you wanna go first? Sure. Uh, Mine is me saying goodnight to each and every one of my shoes. My shoes. (laughs) (laughs) Is that something that happens at your house? I mean, I, I do feel like I have a relationship with each of my shoes and they're, you know, I want to let them know that I love them, and this is kind of how they feel about it. Got it. Okay, I said, me explaining the specific differences between the California Redwood and the giant Sequoia. (laughs) My waiter at Chili's. I gotta say, like, I don't have close relationships with my shoes, but boy, do I have a close relationship with my Chili's waiter. I think this one goes to Ray. Oh, okay. That one was a little personal. Memes don't typically work if they only apply to the person who wrote them, but is not pictured in them. Well, it depends on who you are. 
Depends on who you are, brother. Yeah. In the in the wood community, that would do well. I'm big in the wood community. But on the open market, I think the shoes would have it. All right, guys. It all comes down to this last meme. Yes. This is the change my mind meme, and that's Steven Crowder. Or as mm-hmm. I like to call him, Steven Piece of Shit. Crowder. He's a podcaster at TCU who sat outside with a sign that said, male privilege is a myth. Change my mind. And the meme is used to convey strong, hot takes on topics that are actually important or completely unimportant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see a few examples. Corn dogs are just meat Twinkies. Change my mind. Very important. Adam Driver is hot AF. Change my mind. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I, I asked Lily the other day, I was like, you know, she's so into Star Wars, as am I. And I turned to her when we were watching one of the driver ones. And I was like, you don't think he's hot, do you? <laughs> what? She didn't want to answer in general. She, her response was basically, out of principle, I'm not answering that question for anyone that you ask, Dad. So Can I th- give all the points to Lily for this round? Is that Yes, please works? do. Mm-hmm. And then I will take them as a dad tax. <laughs> and finally, Ratatouille would beat Stuart Little's ass in a fight. Change my mind. Oh, oh that's mm-hmm. important. Okay. But I want to hear yours. So please. Yeah, this one sort of just comes very natural. All right. My pen's running dry, but I do... Have one. Okay. I'm ready. Go ahead. You can judge a man by the size of his weenus. <laughs> Change my mind. Okay. You just put that on the open internet and it's like, what? <laughs> All right, what about this? You can use hair as floss. Change my mind. Oh, oh God. We both had you cans. <laughs> wow. Which is you, quite a coincidence. You can. Yeah, you can. Wow. You can use hair as floss. Change my mind. Oh, okay. gosh. Try it once. I, yeah, try it. Stevie, just get a good look at my, my weenus. Just, uh, just, oh, just God. Because that's, that's a part of this. You guys got a lot of things that are similar here. You both have you cans. You're both right. using parts of your body in some kind of way. It's working. Um, I'm telling you, it's working. Oh, God. Uh, you're both gross. You're both doing gross things. But I think it ultimately comes down to what's the funnier word? Floss or weenus? And I think that we would all agree that it has to go to weenus. I'm sorry. Woo! <laughs> Ouch! Yes! What was that noise you made? That was a quarantine celebration noise. Yeah! That means that Rhett wins. And so, Link, that means you're the loser. And this is, unfortunately, the meme that we're going to have to post uh, as punishment for you. What if I told you (laughs) I have children? (laughs) (laughs) Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's that's good. That's not a bad bad punishment. I mean, Adam Driver can act, and that kind of makes him hot. I mean, right? It's not just the looks. It's what you do with them. That really matters. I I definitely agree with that. Okay. All right. I win. You lose. Look for the meme on social media today, wherever you find social media. (laughs) All right. Thanks for liking and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name is Ashan. I'm from India. I'm currently watching mythical chef Josh make French onion ramen. And it's time to flip the coin of mythicality. Okay, before we flip the coin of mythicality, today we're donating $1,000 to the CDC Foundation, and that is an independent nonprofit that mobilizes resources that support the CDC's critical work, which saves lives and protects the health of Americans by controlling disease outbreaks, as well as many other amazing things. Join us in donating at cdcfoundation.org. Yes, thank you. And click the top link to watch us take a quarantine workout class with Emily and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the coin is going to land, call it. Tails. Josh, can you help me crack an egg? Yeah, I got you, dude. Okay, great. Throw that in the well.